Yo, what's good, YouTube? It is your boy Desire back with another video here on the channel. And hey, man, season four is right around the corner. We're just a few days away from season four coming out. The roadmap dropped a few days ago, and I must say, this thing looks absolutely insane. Season four is looking promising, but hey, man, you guys already know I have to give you guys the top five loadouts to run in season four. Let me know if you guys are excited. Hey, you can now gift battle passes for season four. So, hey, do you guys want some battle passes? Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys want a battle pass. Maybe I'll choose one winner and I'll DM you on Twitter. And, hey, man, maybe you will be chosen lucky to get a season four battle pass. But, hey, man, let's hop straight into the class setups because I don't want to waste too much time in the video. I want to get straight to the point, tell you about the class setups, and give you guys what are the best loadouts for season four. If you guys enjoy best class setups top tier gameplay high kill gameplay and tips and tricks to help you improve your game at warzone and much more make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button and also ring the little bell so you guys get notified when the videos do go live for daily uploads if you guys want to show like this guy down below all you guys got to do is subscribe and turn on post notifications and make sure you guys comment for your chance to get your comment shout out in the next youtube video but hey man enough talk let's hop straight into the class setup so the first class setup we're going to take a look at is of course the cr56 a man this thing it's been nerfed a bunch of times but i'm telling you man it is still very good and it's still gonna be very 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 good as an ar for warzone so you guys already know the class setup here we go for the muzzle we have monolithic suppressor this is gonna give us sound suppression and damage range for the barrel we threw on the xrk zodiac s440 it's gonna give us damage range bolt velocity and recoil control for the optic sight we threw on the vlk three times optic by far the best optic sight Plus, we get the T-Post reticle, which just makes you more accurate. For the ammunition, guys, we threw on the 45 round mags to increase our magazine ammo capacity. For the underbarrel, we threw on the Commando foregrip for that recoil stabilization and aiming stability. And now, this is what we have partnered up with the CR-56 AMAX, the AK-47 SMG, man. This build's absolutely insane. This is actually Diaz Biffle's class setup and A, man. I must say this thing is crazy and fun to use, so let's give you guys the class setup. For the barrel, we threw on the 20-inch Spetness RPK barrel. You're going to get effective damage range, bolt velocity, and strafe speed. And we actually threw on the laser, and that is the Tiger Team Spotlight because this is going to increase our movement speed and aim walking movement speed. For the stock, we threw on the KGB Skeletal Stock. It's going to give us ADS firing move speed, aim walking movement speed, and sprint to fire time. For the ammunition, guys, we threw on the 45 round for more ammo capacity. And then for the last attachment, guys, we threw on a rear grip, and that is going to be the Serpent Grip. It's going to increase our aim down sight time. So, hey, man, that is the first class setup, the CR-56 Amax with the AK-47. Now, hey, man, let's hop into the second class setup. So, of course, the MAC-10 was going to be on the list. You guys already know this thing is very, very good. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy it in Season 4. I mean, it could get potential nerfs or buffs. Who knows? But, hey, man, let's give you guys this insane class setup. For the muzzle, we threw on the Agency Suppressor. You're going to get sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bolt velocity, and effective damage range. For the barrel, we threw on the 5.9 inch Task Force barrel for the effective damage range, bolt velocity, and the strafe speed. For the ammunition, we threw on the Stang 53 round drum for more ammo capacity. For the rear grip, we threw on the SASR jungle grip to increase our aim down sight time and also give us flinch resistance. And for the last attachment, guys, for the stock, we threw on the Raider stock for that ADS firing move speed, aim walking movement speed, and sprint to fire time. Of course, we're partnering it up with the trustworthy Kilo, man. The Kilo 141 is probably going to be like the Amex, probably the two best ARs to run from MW in Warzone. But hey man, there's a bunch of more weapons, so hey, let's give you guys this class setup for the Kilo 141. For the muzzle, guys, you wanna throw on monolithic suppressor, you got sound suppression and damage range. For the barrel, you wanna throw on the Syndark Arms 19.H Prowler barrel, you get damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. For the optic, we have the VLK three times optic sight. Now, of course, you guys wanna run the VLK optic, you get the T-Post reticle that literally makes you like have aimbot. I don't know, it just helps me be very accurate plus we get a zoom level which is very helpful for the ammunition guys we threw on the 50 round mags for more ammo capacity in the magazine and for the last attachment guys for the underbarrel we threw on the commando foregrip for that recoil stabilization and aiming stability so there you guys have it there is the second loadout i think you guys should honestly hey you're watching the video you've watched two class ups and yet you have not subscribed man what are you doing 
hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications man you're already enjoying the video since you're watching it this far and make sure you drop a like man let me know what you guys think of the class under moving on to the third loadout man you guys already know i had to throw on the craig the, i don't know what it is but the craig definitely competes with the kilo and the amax and you gotta give it credit since it is from cold war this thing is a beamer and man i love using the craig 6 i don't know what it is but hey let's give you guys this insane class of the for the muzzle you guys want to throw on agency suppressor for itself suppression vertical recoil control bullet velocity and effective damage range for the barrel we throw on the 19.7 inch takedown barrel to increase the effective damage range for the optic we threw on the axle arms three times scope probably the best optic sight to run for the craig 6 especially used as an ar for the ammunition we threw on the 45 round magazine this is just going to increase our ammo capacity for the underbarrel we threw on the field agent grip to get that no recoil effect because man you guys want to shoot accurate you want to hit your targets and it's going to be very very helpful it's going to increase our horizontal and vertical recoil control of course man we got to go with the lc10 i love the lc10 man i don't know what it is but it's probably one of my top three favorite smgs in warzone let me know down below what you guys rank the lc10 but let's give you guys the class setup for the muzzle we have agency suppressed sound suppression vertical recoil control bullet velocity and effective damage range for the barrel we threw on the 13.9 inch task force barrel this is going to increase the effective damage range bullet velocity and stray speed stock we are throwing on the no stock attachment this is going to increase the sprint to fire time for the ammunition guys we threw on the staying 55 round this is going to increase our ammo capacity of 50 bullets and the magazine for the last attachment guys for the rear grip we're throwing on the jungle grip to increase our aim down sight time and flinch resistance so there you guys have it we have two more class setups to go let me know what you guys think so far but hey man let's hop into the fourth class setup now i don't know what it is man but the ram 7 seems to get mentioned a lot about being potential man this is like tfue's like go-to class i do love the ram 7 don't get me wrong i'm not saying it's bad or anything hey i like this weapon i mean it has broken a pr for me so hey i will give it credit all right but let's give you guys a class for the muzzle we're throwing on monolithic suppressor to give us sound suppression and damage range for the barrel guys we have the fss ranger this is going to increase the damage range bolt velocity and recoil control for the optic site, we threw on the VLK three times optic. For the ammunition, you guys want to throw on the 50 round mags. This is going to increase our magazine ammo capacity to 50 bullets in a magazine. For the underbarrel, you guys want to throw on the commando foregrip for that recoil stabilization and aiming stability. And hey man, we partnered it with the best SMG in Warzone. Now, I, I'm gonna be honest, I think the Bullfrog has potential to get a nerf, whether it's effective damage range or the recoil is gonna get honestly like insane it's gonna skyrocket you're gonna have to control this thing like no tomorrow but i don't know let me know what you guys think of the bullfrog i think this is the best smg in warzone in the latest bullfrog vid i asked you guys what's better the bullfrog or the mac 10 and a bunch of you guys were saying the bullfrog was 100 percent better and it was the best smg so hey man let's give you guys the best class for the muzzle you guys want to throw on the groove suppressor you get sound suppression vertical recoil control bullet velocity and effective damage range for the barrel you guys want to throw on the 7.4 inch task force barrel you get effective damage range bull velocity and strafe speed for the stock you guys want to throw on the no stock attachment to increase the sprint to fire time and for the rear grip guys we have the spetnaz field grip to increase our aim down sight time and give us flinch resistance and like i said this thing has no recoil already so for the underbarrel you guys want to throw on the vdv speed grip this is going to give us sprinting move speed and horizontal recoil control but hey man there it is we have one more class setup so let's give you guys the best class setup you guys watch the pkm bit i said this is going to be the lmg meta now i don't know what it is man but the stoner 63 i think it's just a tiny bit better and you guys are going to see why with this class setup you guys are going to see the stat bars and everything else like that i don't know man i just think that stoner 63 is better than the uh pkm just by a tad bit and you guys are going to see why so let's give you guys the class for the muzzle you guys want to throw on the agency suppressor for sound suppression vertical recoil control bolt velocity and effective damage range for the barrel we throw on the 20.7 inch match grade barrel to increase the effective damage range now this is very important for the laser guys you guys want to throw on the ember sighting point because it's going to give us effective damage range and hip fire accuracy for the optic we threw on the axle arms three times and for the underbarrel of course you guys when using an lmg you want that no recoil effect you want to be very accurate and you want to be able to delete your enemies 
So of course we have the field agent grip for the horizontal and vertical recoil control. But here's the thing I was talking to you guys about. This right here is the accuracy and damage without the ember sighting point and here is what it is with it on. So I mean you can kind of see a huge big difference when throwing on the ember sighting point. And man, this thing absolutely shreds the armor. And you guys will be able to delete your enemies very, very quickly. And of course, man, the last one is going to be the XM4, man. I don't know what it is, but I really, really do enjoy the XM4. Let me know what you guys think of the XM4 in Warzone as an SMG. But for the muzzle, you guys want to throw in the agency suppressor. You get sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bolt velocity, and effective damage range. For the barrel, you guys want to throw in the 13 and a half inch task force barrel you get effective damage range bolt velocity and straight speed for the stock we threw on the raider pad for that ads firing move speed aim walking movement speed and sprint to fire time for the ammunition guys we threw on the 45 round to increase the ammo capacity and have more bullets in our magazine and for the last attachment guys we threw on for the rear grip we have the serpent grip this is going to increase our aim down sight time so you will be able to lock onto your enemies a lot faster hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys did at any time and point and enjoyed these classes please drop a big like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys get notified to watch these daily upload videos hope you guys did enjoy the video like i said if you guys did at any time and point make sure to drop a like and subscribe but hey man hope you guys enjoy season four now go slay out using these insane best class notes. i'll talk to y'all later i'm out peace